Hello guys, this is Color Decoder Programming and today I'm going to show you how to post to Twitter programmatically using Ruby. If you'd like to do if you'd like me to do this in a different language or platform, you can go ahead and send me a PM and I'll be more than glad to post a video on how to do so. Although I will say that Ruby works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, so this could work well on all three major platforms, assuming you have Ruby installed. The first step is you're gonna have to have a Twitter account if you don't already have one. And then you're going to have to go to a website called Twitter. It's dev.twitter.com slash apps. And you're going to have to go here to create a new app. And go ahead and fill out all this information. Make sure you are verified with a phone. And once you're done with that, everything will be fine. What you're going to need to get from it once you make the app, though, is your consumer key and the consumer secret key and also your access tokens, the token and the secret token. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and create one. Um, you can't use mine because they're different for every account and they will be deleted after I post this video since you can make new ones. Um, so it, it's just not going to work if you use mine. Okay. Once that's done, you just go here to create a, you can use whatever editor you want for Ruby, but for me, I'm going to use this one. And once you create your first class, since we're going to want to be able to reuse this class, we're going to make it a class. This is based on the code that you would see on Code Academy. Okay, first we're going to go to we're going to have to require a few things. Require Ruby gems. Require this you need so you can have the Ruby gems and then this you need because that's what we use uses to authenticate. And JSON you need because JSON is JSON is how we read the web page. Okay, um, before we do anything else, we're going to need the consumer key set in here in a separate class. Well, not a separate class, but a separate file. And uh, again, sorry for the mistake, it's a separate method. So this is going to be set this way. Um, the way you take them from, from uh, Twitter is actually exactly as you see them. First you put in the consumer key, then you put in the consumer secret key, and the same thing for the access tokens. You just put them in order. For the, you separate them with a comma. Once that's done, you have to create the post function. The post function is going to be what actually does everything for us. And since again we want this to be reusable, we're going to put in string post as a parameter. You can go ahead and name it whatever you want though. Okay, and some stuff that doesn't ever change is going to be this base URL. You go to https slash api dot twitter dot com path is going to equal to slash one dot one slash statuses slash update dot json the address is equal to uri And that's where you put the base in. And the path. And the request is. Sorry about that. It's a mistake there. Yeah. 
a lot of this is going to be inherited from the net class post.new so you're just passing all that in and then this is where the actual posting happens HTTP request and stuff like that. because that's how servers verify us because we do have to sign in or at least that's what we're doing with the consumer key and the access token if you don't know what SSL is I recommend reading up on it um, you'll be familiar with it if you use something like Linux or, or Macintosh and this from the server is 200 then and only then do we actually post So we don't try to you know, bother posting if we get anything other than like it just ensures that we don't post if we can't post because that would just be a waste of time anyway. I'm sure it's probably a better way to handle this than the way I'm doing it here with error exception handling, but it doesn't really need to overcomplicate this program anyway. And then to actually call an instance of this class and make it work would be something like Twitter poster. Cool. The poster got new, this creates a new ins instance of this class. And then, of course, we actually need to set the keys before we do anything so it knows what account to use. So you can have multiple accounts with this. And then. here it said URI it said URL instead of URI so you can go ahead and change that if, uh, if you see that and as you can see here it says it tweeted right after I ran it just to show you one more time how it works it would be 
Hello, hashtag YouTube. And then run it one more time. See it was tweeted, and then we go check the Twitter account. This is on. And as you can see, here it is. Both of them, I posted two of them. And you can, of course, make this into a bot and make it spam all kinds of things you like about either, you know, whatever product it is you're selling or anything like that. It doesn't really matter. I've been having it uh, run on my server for about 24 hours now, as you can see. And uh, thank you for tuning in. If you need anything else, please don't... Uh, hesitate to comment or send a request and have a great day.